I've got this little micro switch here. Um, and I was thinking it'd be good to put it on the loft hatch door so that uh, when the loft hatch door is closed, the lights in the loft automatically turn off. And the moment you open the loft hatch door and climb, pull the ladder down and climb down, um, there's light. So the moment you open the loft hatch door, uh, the lights turn on automatically. And um, then you can see what you're doing up in the loft. Um, and uh, what's happened to me in the past is you put the ladder back up in the loft, shut the loft hatch, and um, the lights stay on. And they can stay on for weeks until you go up there again. So um, I think it'd be great if it was just automatically operated by the door. And uh, it should be quite simple. The moment the hatch closes, it presses the, the switch. Now. The only problem I have with this is the terminals are exposed, which means um, you'll have live mains voltage across this bit. You know, fingers could get in there and you can get a shock. So um, you can get versions of these where the terminals, screw terminals are sort of hidden and the cables are enclosed or it has a little box that unscrews and, you know, you can get a much better, better version. But I've got the switch already now, so I'm going to use the switch. So I've got this little um, chock box, connector block box. And um, you kind of put your, this what this is used for, you put your cables inside and you terminate them and then afterwards you shut it and it clicks shut and then, you know, you can't get to the live terminals inside. But uh, it's actually quite good. I've, I've cut with the Dremel tool, the rotary tool, I cut a bit of space out there for the, for the lever to go through and it seems perfect. Like to mount uh, the switch inside. And um, that way, all the connections will be inside this little little junction box thing. I'll show you quickly how the switch operates. So we want normally closed, so that when the door is open, the door shut, lights are off, doors open, lights come on, off, on. So it should be fairly simple. There's already a light switch up in the loft so all we have to do is put this in series with that light switch so that's what we'll do first I think we should attach some um, some cables some switch lines to it um, now we could just crimp crimps on the end of this wire and push it on there but it takes up too much space and I'm one of those people that love, love to solder things I prefer solder connections to crimp connections and it's quick I'll just solder it and it'll take up less space in here anyway if we if I solder directly to that as you can see the crimps will there's not all that much space to put crimps in there so let's solder that on let's see how it goes I flooded this with a bit of solder beforehand I'll flood the bottom one with a bit of solder as well Pretend these so they should solder quite easily. There we go, wires on. Much prefer soldering to crimps. So we've got a fairly good connection there, and since we're going to be in our little um, protective box. Uh, we have all these live connections out of harm's way. So I think all we have to do now is thread the cable through there. Right, so that's in, rather nicely in place. Um, I think what we could actually do, we could cut this terminal shorter so there's no issue with the cable. Um, chafing through there. So let's cut that, that terminal off. doesn't need to be there. Let's put more space for the cables now. Okay, so I've got these, um, these really tiny little screws. They're a bit rusty. 
Um, so I've got nut and, small nut and bolts and they, they fit nicely through those um, holes and I've pre-drilled the plastic so that we can just go in there and that should go straight through the micro switch. There we go. Now we just need to put our little nuts on top. That could be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll see. They're a bit fiddly. There you go, that one's on. Another nut this side. As I said, you could buy a unit like this already pre-made with a little cover on it that screws on. I just had this micro switch already, so I thought I'd utilize it. And plus it's probably a bit cheaper doing it this way. These um, industrial micro switches can be quite expensive. So there we go. That's nicely screwed on. I think the only thing, the only thing we need is maybe a cable tie or something wrapped around this to stop this tugging too hard, so a bit of strain relief there. But I think we've got a nice little switch there. You just put a screw in there and screw in there, line it up with the door, and uh, that should be the door should be operating the switch. So let's stick a cable tie on there. There you go. As you can see. It's not going to go anywhere soon. Um, I just need to close the lid and then it all snaps in place. Nice and safe, out of harm's way. No little fingers getting in there and getting electrocuted. So that makes a convenient little switch. So we could just fire a screw in there and a screw in there, line it up with the door. Job, jobs are good. In. The next step is to uh, fit it up in the loft by the hatch and see if it uh, operates the lights. So this is the loft hatch that I'm going to put the switch in. So I want this door to operate the light switch for the lights up in the loft. I'm thinking just to mount the switch there and the switch the switch could go somewhere here I think so it pushes against the door there but uh, I've stuck some double-sided tape there so I could just stick it on in the right position to get it lined up and then fire some screws in to secure it properly and then we can wire it in properly so I'm thinking to put the switch to stick the switch more or less here could go here as well but I've just noticed a slight issue the gap is a bit of a gap there so I might have to put a little support there a little bit of wood maybe it's not too much of a problem so we already have the, the original light switch for the loft is up here so there's not much distance for the cable run for the um, for the switch so that uh, it can just run along here and then be wired into the original switch. We keep the original switch in series so you, you can still turn it off um, manually as well so you don't just rely on, on this switch here. But uh, yeah, maybe we should pack this out a bit with something. So this switch has something to press against. So I've stuck this little piece of wood there just because the gap there is a bit too big and it might just, the door might just m miss the micro switch. So I could have either packed out the micro switch a bit further or, um, or packed the door. I, I chose to do the door, I think. So I've put some double-sided tape there and I'll just peel that off. That way we can nicely line up the switch, have it depressed just at the height because the door is now locked in its closed position. So if we press it down, we should be able to seat it nicely. There we go. So in theory now, if we 
the micro switch is in the shut position so the lights should be off once this is wired in it will just be there the switch is just there um, what we could do now is fire some screws in there and um, then test to see if it all works I've routed the the cable from the switch all the way along here along the floorboards and it's gone into the switch box there the power has been turned off so we'll take the original switch line out and we'll stick one of the switch lines that goes to the micro switch into the original switch and then what we'll do is we'll stick a little terminal block onto the other end we'll stick these two together in there like so so now they're both in series both these switches I could have removed the switch but it's maybe handy to still have the option to turn it off while you're up here for, for whatever reason keeps the original switch uh, still functioning so in theory that should be working now just ask my assistant to turn the power on can you turn the circuit breaker on please right so the power's back on um, so this original switch should still work so so the moment this door hits the switch here turns the loft lights off so all that we need to do is close uh, close all this up and uh, tidy up the wires clip them with something to hold them in position I put a cable tie there so let's get cracking with that Right, so all I need to do now is uh, ask my assistant to close the loft hatch or the loft door and see if the switch works. So let's give that a try. All right, let's see what happens. That's it. Open it back up. Works a treat. Right, you can open the door, please. So I think it works fine. So all these lights, we won't forget them on. In the past, um, I've uh, left them on by accident, and uh, we should be good to go. I'd say that's the job done. Well, that's it for this video. Please uh, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. That way, uh, YouTube can show you more of these videos. If you like them, share them with your mates. Um, I'm sorry I've been away for a while. But uh, hopefully I'll be making some more videos soon. So I'll see you on the next one.